Greetings, boys and gits, and welcome again to Dread War Gaming. In today's episode, we're going to be having a look at Mad Max, or is that Mad Grax, from Hardcore Minis. It's a new miniature from Hardcore Minis, who are based in Russia, and Hardcore Minis have been doing a lot of movie-based sculpt so there's a, a good few if you go and check out hardcore minis in fact i'll throw a few of them up on the page now for you to have a look at ping 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 right doing a lot of cool movie based stuff but also doing orcs that are movie based so he's done mad grax he also did lobo um from dc comics which i covered uh a little while back um but i've got that and i've also got um oh one of the others there so i'm gonna unbox them anyway we're gonna have a little look okay so Let's our cameras down. Okay, so, Mad Grax. Let's have a little look. Wee so, let's start with the torso. Good place to start. Nice details, crisp detail on the zip as there was with the Lobo character as well. Um, the details are very fine, so uh, you wouldn't want to go too heavy with your paint, or you wouldn't want to be the, this wouldn't be, want to be a model that you'd want to strip. So you want to get it right. You know, you don't want to paint it multiple times. You don't want to play around with this sort of model. You, know, you want to get it right. Just a word of warning. So I've had that sort of issue myself before, taking something beautiful like this and then not liking what I did and stripping it, and you lose some of the beautiful little details. These are the legs, obviously. Great knee pad. Really like that knee pad. Very hard to get the camera to focus. Those shoes, too. Awesome. And the weapon. Wrench. Oh, there it goes. Get that in a second. <laughs> There's this shotgun. Wicked. And we've got some bits of arm. Some really fantastic details on these. You have to look close up to see them, but like little zip details. And the little teeth on them zips. You can see them right by my hand there. They're really small. Tiny. So cool. Um, then we've got the face mask that goes over the head. Like that. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, the details are awesome. So, as I am very, very, very close to my 750 subscribers, and I told you guys I would be telling you what I'm giving away for my 1,000 subscribers Dread Captain competition, this is going to be the third prize. There's three prizes. So there's a third, second, and a first prize. And it's going to be a community vote that's going to decide the winners. Um, if you want to find out how to enter the competition, check out the video that I'm just chucking up in the corner of the screen here. Um, but yeah, get involved, guys, because this is only the third prize, is Mad Grax, and it's a fantastic model. We're going to take a little look at how it looks painted. There we go. Fantastic. Now, you could be winning this. And this is the third prize for the competition. So get involved. You've got till I get to a thousand to finish your entry and get it to me. And then I'm going to be doing the draw. And in a few weeks time or in a week's time, you're going to get another video from me that's going to explain what the second and the first prize are going to be. So if you're, you're not silly, I'd get started now. Because once you hear that second and that first prize, you're going to be running to your pen and paper or your sculpting block or whatever you're going to do. So get involved, check it out. Now aside from Mad Grax, I also got the uh, Ghost Rider Orc. Not the biked one though, because the bike one hasn't come out yet. So let's start with the torso. Again, lovely details, nice zips. Similar body, similar enough anyway. Hang on. No, I haven't mixed them up though. <laughs> the legs. Hang on. They are the same body and legs. What's going on here? Okay, so 
It's the same body and legs as the Mad Grax Mini for this upright Ghost Rider Orc. Um, there's the head. And some flamey bits. I'll throw up some pictures of how this guy's supposed to look as well, so you can see. Because I'm just showing you their component bits, of course. Um, nicely detailed, though. And last but not least, some army bits. So it looks like... They're using the same body, but using different component bits to make a different kit. Very cool. Hope you liked it. Thanks for checking out the review. I appreciate you coming. You were great. If you would like to see more from me, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, just like the video and leave a comment down below. Or don't like the video and leave a comment down below. Either way, let me know what you think, all right? See you in the next one. In this episode, no, not at all.